Sometimes I need long strips of wood for the boats that I build and the table saw works okay but requires a lot of setup so I made a jig to fit on my circular saw that does the job quicker with less setup. Just take saw horses and a couple of clamps so no in feed, no out feed tables, no feather boards and no wrestling 16 foot pieces of wood through a table saw. The first one I made was just a piece of quarter inch plywood with two 2x2's two clamped in place for the fences. The second one I built, I made the mistake of using half inch plywood for the base and so I couldn't get enough blade depth to make it completely through a 2x4. So this time I'm using 8 inch ply, but it's stiffened by a frame and inserts that not only give it rigidity, but also help to get consistent placement for the saw. You don't have to split wood down the middle, so you could make 5 quarter lumber from a 2x4 or cut any 4 inch lumber such as a 4x8 and trim it or cut it down the middle. It's a good way to spline wood together to make wider panels and you can take one fence off of the bottom and use it to trim the length of a door. I'm still improving the jig and finding new uses for it. After I shot this video I attached HDPE plastic to the fences which greatly reduces the friction when sawing. As much as I use this jig, there are several others that I consider to be absolutely essential and greatly expand the use of a circular saw. The first is a fence. This is a cheap one that works well and extends to 8 feet for doing sheets of plywood. Similarly, there are track systems, which can be rather pricey. Or if you look on the internet, you'll find ones that you can make from plywood. The other important add-on is the speed square. The speed square is an important tool that has way more uses than I'll ever know about. I use mine for quick and easy cutoffs and for doing curve bending, which is how I make my garden borders. With a decent saw and a sharp blade, a fence, a speed square, and other jigs that you can buy or make, there's no reason that the circular saw has to continue being the red-headed stepchild of power tools.